James Widener here with head coach Dave Trumbull after the Mustangs finish up the regular season with a 3-2 marathon win over Susquehanna here Friday night at Owings Mills Gymnasium. End the season at 21-6. and six. And, Coach, um, we were talking before we came on the air here. Uh, you know, you seemed like in that fourth set, uh, you guys woke up and then just carried momentum in that fifth set. Well, we, they passed us pretty well all night. And I knew we were running out of subs. Right. But I made the decision to go with Nicolette Fustel in that situation and hoping she would get hot serving, and she did. You know, she got like six straight points. They burned a couple timeouts. We got back in the game. Then we end up winning 31-29, you know, with our, one of our setters having to play defense and the other one having to play front row, which we've never done all, right. se- all season long. But they kept their composure, mm-hmm. and a lot of kids stepped up big. And Kylie Delorier, Delorier in that fifth set, finally all those ones they kept digging finally dropped because right. she was frustrated because mm-hmm. she had great swings all night, but they kept digging them. Yeah. And uh, so she got red hot, so that really helped. And, and coming in, people looking at Susquehanna being 9-17, and 17, but you and I have talked about it all week, is that Susquehanna goes out and plays the toughest competition. You know, th- how important, looking back now, how important was this match for you guys going into the postseason? Because, you know, you played Eastern, and then you came back, you played Hood and Alvernia, and then now you play a match like this. How important is it to play a good team like Susquehanna before you get into the playoffs? Well, and that was kind of the plan when I put the schedule together, you know, and we came back off, t- you know, really after that Eastern game and playing Hood and Alverney, no disrespect, but it's not the same level right. as, of, of an Eastern team. Mm-hmm. Susquehanna I have tremendous respect for because I know they've got good coaching and I knew they would be ready for what we did. And they tried to take some things away and they did it kind of uh, tonight. And so for us, the fact that we lost a five set match, we were one and three in five set matches, so now we're two and three, and it's the one right before the semifinals against Messiah. Uh, it would have been excruciating loss, mm-hmm. but it turned out to be a jubilant win yes. and really helps galvanize our team going into the playoffs. And let's talk about this. So Wednesday night, you're hosting Messiah. You beat Messiah 3 1 up there earlier in the year. Obviously, when you play a team and the second time through, they kind of know what you're planning. What can we expect after after Wednesday's match with Messiah? Uh, like Susquehanna, they just play phenomenal defense. You know, they're just so scrappy, and they they just keep grinding, and they never give up. Um, so we know their players really well, mm-hmm. and we kn- and we they know us really well. Yep. So whoever's going to step up and have a big night tonight, very happy that it's home mm-hmm. uh, on our court. Messiah is also well coached, uh, so I'm expecting you know. Uh, a really good match. Well, good luck on Wednesday, Coach. Yeah. Thanks, James. All right, so Wednesday night after after uh, Stevenson beats Susquehanna tonight, 3-2, they'll be off for the weekend. It'll be the Matt Commonwealth semifinal. Stevenson, the number two seed, Messiah, number three. 7 o'clock here Wednesday night at Owings Mills. Hope to see you out here. Thanks for watching, and go Stangs.